So last time we had looked at quite a number of things in Excel, rather in PowerPoint, and today we shall look at extra more. Uh, the lecture could go on for almost two hours, such that it can help us cover quite a lot of things. And uh, we shall mainly begin with the um, in applying transitions how can you apply transitions to your uh, to your work or your slides and uh, that is not very challenging because there are those transitions one could be subto and we are saying that these are the most basic there are those we call exciting they are saying these are these use more complex animations to transition between threads. While they are more visually interesting than subto transitions, adding too many can make your presentation look less professional. However, used in moderation, they can add a nice touch between the threads. So we are going to also look at the dynamic content. If you are transitioning between two threads that use similar thread layouts, Dynamic transitions will remove only the placeholders, not the slides themselves when used correctly. Dynamic transitions can help unify your slides to add your slides and add a further level of polish to your presentation. And the biggest thing is that you do not need to apply these transitions very often because then they would look they will make your work look unprofessional and not nice at all so it is what we are going to <coughs> to look at um, so assuming we just have our new just our document so we can just pick this uh, we shall see how to get them out and just have such a document um, we could come here click on the slide that you want and then you choose transitions you could give this transition there are quite many you can see them here we have subto exciting and dynamic okay so these are the areas so we can pick this one to be maybe random bars okay and if you wanted to see how this one works you could go to preview and then they would show you how that works or you could simply come here on this star that means play animation and then i play the animation you can see the the random bars you can at the same time come and increase the timing here maybe you can take it to two seconds or three <coughs> be able to see more of those transitions so you see and so now we could see more of, of the timing so we can apply this you can come here and say apply to all and all the slides will have that transition because when i come to the second slide <coughs> and play like that it will give me you can see from the other transition this the second slide from the second trans the slide taking me to the third to the third slide so um but you could want transitions that are different and will work for all the will work for all the slide no not for all the slides but uh, you choose that i want to use these transitions on this thread, I want to use this transition on this thread and maybe use this transition on this slide. For you to be able to achieve that, you can come back here, choose another type. Maybe this one could be, say, honeycomb. Okay, that one is going to be for honeycomb. Uh, you can see it being played here and how that is going to look like. Okay, and then I can come to this the animation uh, because uh, you can see it is still having the bars we can click on this and maybe give this other one was the honeycomb we could um, 
this is dynamic we've added exciting you could still stay on exciting and look for glitter so that one is glitter and it takes that much time to display our information so we could go back to the starting one uh, we can say preview for example and you see we could as well come here and say play uh, the slide the slide show um, you can come here and play the slide show um, it is okay because uh, this is a, a lower C so that one is like that and uh, because we've not set the timer then this slide is going to wait for me to click so when I click um, then another slide comes up we shall see how to set that timer also you can see this one now is coming up with the honeycomb we can look for another one that is bring that is coming as, as great as you can see so that way you can change your uh, threads after this i can just press the escape button on the keyboard and off they go so we can look at another thing um so we could also choose to to say how are these how are these tra is transitions going to look like how which side should they move to okay so when you come here um those are just themes this under transitions we had effects okay vertical horizontal but this one here yes. um we are saying vertical we are saying horizontal so we could choose to change these to horizontal not all the slides not all the transitions can have this type of effect there are those that want that out uh, this honeycomb for example honeycomb is saying we are not choosing which side we are running from and uh, this glitter one thing you need to know is how do i know that this is glitter it when i click here it would highlight what i had chosen the effect i had selected okay or the transition i had selected so i can come here depending on which transition you have there are many options for example this one is telling us diamonds from the top hexagons from the bottom yeah whatever for, for right now they are saying hexagons from the bottom maybe we can say uh, diamonds from the top okay so we can go back to playing here and click on the first one then this comes up we have another one coming up um because i double clicked you didn't see the transition there then we could have another so diamonds from the top to bottom ah have something like that could increase the time in case you wanted to increase the time um this is where for example we shall see we shall see but this is the time it takes in seconds to display your content then this is another time that we shall set and you see how we can use it um you could add a sound and uh, you could choose to add the sound for example come here maybe on this you pick a certain sound um maybe this one is cash register it might be only me who will hear it i don't know whether you will be able to hear the sound whether the microphone can pick it since these are just headsets that i hope you picked it because it was loud enough so that is sound um i could choose to apply now this sound at all uh, or i could come here and pick another sound that was cash register maybe this is now camera i click here on pre transition to hear the preview uh -huh. that is how that one is going to be i could come here and pick another sound mm, chime 
Okay, so I can come here and uh, you can see when I click all the things we have done so far keep coming up. Greta chime, what what? So let us play here. Uh, we have this as the cash register. Next one is the camera as it comes up. Okay. Then the next one is the chime as the third one comes up. Now we could also do something else. Uh, the cash register there is loop until next sound. Okay, you can check that. You come back here, we say loop until next sound. You can come to this. If this is the last one, then we don't need to loop it. But it's okay, loop until the next sound. So I can come back here and play them. The difference now is it keeps on playing until if it was a nice song, it will keep playing until the next one. Um, I hope I'm sure the recording is picking it and I'll ask it where. You see, now it keeps on loop because there is another song that you're expecting. Now I click as this one comes up, the sound keeps on playing. And this is very nice, especially if you have made your own sound because there is no any other thread that has sound the loop has stopped so you wouldn't ask worry much of how will i know no will the sound keep playing when there is no any other sound to play then the loop will end especially after your image has been displayed which was the most important thing um Every time, in case you are going through this tutorial, every time you, are, you do not understand, you have the liberty to pause and practice. In the video, there, there are always control buttons for pausing and practicing. So, that should not be so much of a challenge. Okay. Um, that would be that would not be a challenge so you can simply make sure that um, that you try that out pause and try it out that way you will be able to understand how these things are done otherwise you will keep thinking that they are hard yet they are not hard um, we shall come to the matrix right here. We can have, we can look at animations, for example, this four here. Uh, we looked at how to insert such threads. Okay, maybe if you have forgotten, come here, pick a thread. Um, if it is going to be an image, you see, pick image with caption, the same thread there, picture. Yeah. All of these are different ways. But you could just duplicate this thread and get another one. So, animations. Um, we've just set all of these so we would not uh, expect much because already they are taken over. Um, I'll see how to deal with that later. And uh, we could come to how to set, for example, the the um, So, we can, uh, we shall use animations when you come to set uh, working on text and other objects, that is when we shall cover animations. Um, to advance slides automatically, you see, locate the timing group, so you set a timer, you set a timer, now. <coughs> 
you could come here and maybe you want to talk about your company okay you would come you would want to talk about your company and in that way you want to explain more about this so before you present you must have practiced that is that is why it is called the powerpoint presentation hmm? because we use it in presenting our notes and i'm sure in some other lectures you've seen lecturers using this much as they also <coughs> just click uh, not because they do not know but because uh, sometimes setting a timer and the time is wrong uh, the lecture depends assuming we said i'm going to start at 10 and then me i start but along the way people are asking questions within the middle of the lecture you either pause or you let the slide to end the the automatic presentation then you can use on click okay you can see here at the top there is a raise on mouse click and then this is after so that is what we are talking about um, you could change your time uh, by simply coming here and saying maybe this slide okay can remove on mouse click now that i want to say the time maybe i am going to talk about this slide for let's say um, for about uh, the second maybe i'm going to talk about this slide we can choose to wait maybe for five seconds i would have explained this i would want to do apply to all because then every slide after five <coughs> seconds will go for if i said apply to all then every 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 after every five seconds that is going to that is what will take place and we will also take away our transitions and we will take away our our sounds so that is why upright or is is a bit ineffective but in case if every slide was to take that time then it's okay you say upright or but i wouldn't like to use this so we shall go back um this is five seconds it is okay the second one we had chosen a different and said honeycomb and it was not considered the star it was camera but we can also say after maybe this slide is for four seconds then i can come to this it was uh glitter we even had to change the diamond we could say diamonds from right and the cash register it was chime so but for it it could be maybe three seconds such that the other one could come we can look that is okay the loop is on the loop is on uh, even on the first one the loop is on so we can come here and click this presentation then you would have to wait for the time you have set five seconds and the five seconds is done then you can see another one coming back arms because I am not clicking on anything we set the timer now they are able to bring themselves okay yes because we say every other side that we have is going to prevent to bring it safe and remember at the start we have set all the sliders to have this at register thing. So that is it majorly for applying transitions. Um, we could look at something else managing your slides. Um, so what is this about? It is about ways of how you can manage your slides because as the slides become many you might find it easy rather hard to to see how to arrange them to get something comprehensive out of this information 
So we are saying PowerPoint include several different slides which are all useful for various tasks. The slide view commands are located in the right bottom corner of the PowerPoint window. And we have normal view which is default. We have thumbnail version or slide sorter view. Then we also have a reading view that covers the whole page. Um, you can also press F5 um, if you have a pen and a highlighter for, for presentation say on a projector you would also use those to navigate through your slides um, we can uh, we can first try out that so we are here these are the views down here okay bottom right corner so this is the normal reading this is the slide sorter when i click i have my slide and this is very good for printing your slides by printing them like this you would save because many of the slides many slides like six or eight depending on how big you want them to be can go on a on a normal sheet of paper size a4 that way will save your money. Uh, but we have another one for reading. You can see all the settings we have made are there. Five seconds, four seconds, three seconds, five, five, five. They are there, you're able to see them. Reading review is this full. Okay. You read and read and read and read. Then another one will come up because it still has those transitions. See the menu here if you quickly want to go to another slide, if you want full screen, if you want end show. This one here will go to the next, and this one will go to back to the previous. So, you can set it back to the normal. That is how you would want to arrange your slides. Now, let us look at outline, and we are saying. That outline view shows your slide text in outline form. This allows you to quickly edit your slide text and view the content of multiple slides at once. You could use this layout to, to review the organization of your slides show, rather slide show, and prepare to deliver your presentation. So we are saying you go to view tab, then you can directly affect the the text that you want um, so we can come here under view and then we have our outline view so you see this is the first one it's quicker from here without going this side I can edit from here this is another one, quicker I can edit from here, you know. It is important because sometimes clicking in here, some of you will find it a bit stressful. So when I click view and go to outline, then when is it affect the color quicker from there. Um, so view, you could come to this, you can see whatever you would want to do. We are dealing with text, not the images on those slides. Um, you could do, there is this as the notes master, presentation views for presentation. Uh, what if you wanted them to be in a slide sorter, you can see them here. It is still picking from down here. Uh, we have a notes page adding the text to you to this slide um, so that is something important that you needed to know we can take it back to normal and then we are dealing with the normal effect um, you could have added more notes on your um, you could have added more notes for example on your document okay um, 
how would those so you could uh, come here to your document okay and then simply say notes or you could come to the notes page here that will go down here and we can reduce the size of this um let me show you diff something different show you something different um we have our notes function here down here you can see it okay so you can click on these notes if you have notes on your slide then you will be able to see to see them you can expand it if you can see when i i hold and scroll i am able to look at these notes and then be able to get them So, in case you were presenting, you can see this is still visible, but now you had your notes here for presentation, notes here for your presentation, and then you would, because this would be like your reference, you look at something here, you, whatever you wanted to talk about, this company, mission, vision, location, and all those things, your notes would be here. Whatever you wanted to talk about, you can see these are created. Uh, but what if you know there are many many options because you will not always use this and it is adjustable you can see how the cursor is uh, top bottom arrows then i can push it down and it is seated there as if it is hidden um you could also add sections uh, these would maybe be let me show you we could maybe now come here, go to home, and then we say section, and we say add section. The section name could be uh, types of dogs, maybe. Types of dogs. So these are the sections, that is the section type we have, um, and we could also come here and, and set, okay, I would want to go through. I think in the slide navigation pane, click the arrow next to the section name to collapse and expand it. Uh, to remove a section click the section command then click remove section you can also remove all sections by saying remove all sections from your threads Me meaning that i could come here go pick section and call this uh, introduction introduction Okay, so that section is there. There is this section also. Um, so when I click, telling me it is holding 10. See, now they are in sections. So I could hide my information like that. It means down here, up at the 10, I could also add another section here and say um, types of cuts. rename so this downward is this cut so when I get out the sections uh, like this then so when I'm going to present for now that is what I have so I know under introduction I have three slides and uh, types of dogs I have six slides and under types of cuts I have four slides uh, this is something I think that is very sweet because this is now a grouping your slides then you get to know 
Then now I am going to go to the section of cats, dogs, and this is introduction. And it is okay. It doesn't mean that when you're under introduction, uh, maybe you wouldn't want, you just want to present like this, like the way I'm presenting, but you do not want the other threads to be seen. They could be hidden under their sections like this. And you said you could come here and say remove all sections or remove section if this is the, the, the part you want to, to, to remove the section from. You could say collapse all such that the, uh, all of them are hidden like this. Or you could come here and say expand all and all will be expanded for you. You could even select a section somewhere and then say rename section. The add section is now over because we are still in the category where the section resides. But I could come on the certain slide, slide and then say add section. Maybe it is thinking that from here downwards I want to start a new section. And it could be, um, we could say contact us. So this is this section talks about contactors and especially we uh, could have our information where we located when what our telephone numbers our email address website and stuff like that uh, we want to be looking at the uh, find and replace we want to be looking at printing Presenting a slide show to the audience is the same thing um, because we've got uh, all these functions to help us present what we want. You could come here and present it from here. You could present it from here. Uh, usually this is good to start from the beginning. Um, so then you start speaking like I am speaking because right now what I am doing is the shuare uh, we had looked at all this what I'm doing is to simply to simply show you how to present since what I am doing is also presentation uh, we had looked at all that you can go back through this tutorial you will see that this is the same thing we created this will also be a presentation um, we had looked at the that you can pause for example explain 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 because remember you've set six sec rather five seconds you know after five seconds it would bring another slide okay but because someone is still asking a few questions about maybe why this name or whatever it is that they are asking then you can pause you can resume you see pointer options laser pointer pen highlighter uh, you could use a laser pointer now you see how it looks like for a laser pointer i can right click and choose another option maybe pen something quick that you could say I am talking about this, uh, this, whatever, then uh, you, you know, now you can see eh? this is a pen presentation, uh, which I think is nice. Um, there is a highlighter, we could look, uh, we could say resume, okay. Could resume, and then we expect this, we can pause this. Um, and then we still have this uh, that our mission you are stressing the point that our mission is so and so so and so you see it uh, if it was uh, for example let me show you uh, we, can, we don't want the, the annotations we could uh, come back to the normal maybe in your presentations you know people are going to ask questions so you have created a uh, blank thread. Um, you put them away. Um, let's put it here at the end of this. So we could add a blank thread here. So I start my presentation down here. 
and every time every time somebody is asking me to every time somebody is asking me to explain I could right click select C or or let me show you I could right click and say C or slides then get my blank my blank slide right click on it go to point options pick my pen then as I explain I say you know we started with around the the timer um, that we needed to have removed we needed to have removed we can pause the show here um, so with that out of the way we can um, look at something else we call lists oh formatting straight the formatting of text because i told you that this kind of text does not need much formatting uh, reason being a uh, reason being that rather we don't need to look at formatting because they are the same this is where you find whatever formats you want to use uh, but right there I wanted to introduce to you a few things uh, that you might wonder where they are or maybe you have forgotten them or, or anything so it is okay we can repeat a, a few of these then we are able to to see how to go about it um we could then we can pick say this text and we choose to maybe pick this come here at paragraph section then select the borders uh for the kind of breaks you would want to to look at your document and that is what you would be able to to apply um they could be numbered they could be just breaks it is okay one other way is um, what we had looked at here for view and outline you can see them here uh, that this is where they are uh, we could uh, so we could come here and uh, to say maybe we want those now that is what we have have to exercise then this stress and all these things we would want maybe one two three that is what we would have uh, we can uh, can change something small here edit your background to make sure it produces something you are able to see or even here in your notes click to add notes if this was in my notes then I would be able to to get it and uh, use it here so I could explain I could just leave this as it is and then I explain here could number them like this in my notes uh, if they still would want my background but then uh, not that kind of numbering so this is where you would find it and the same applies to, to justification all these things uh, of course they go we can see so it depends on how wrong or wide the text is uh, Let's see if we've covered everything under lists. Yeah. But it's numbering, choosing start art, choosing the, the size. Um, let's 
So the question is here. Just coming here. Could just do it here. I'm sure you would be able to see properly there. Delete sand numbering. It could be a picture. It could be could customize it like this. Size is probably let's keep at a hundred percent of text. Uh, we could go to customize, maybe you want different shapes, you want symbol, rather symbols, I could pick that particular symbol. Uh, what color do I want? Maybe I want color red or white. Let us see. Now you are able to see them here. Okay. So I can pick this. I want maybe these kind of numbers. Uh, in a numbering system, we usually do not have the issues of picture. We make this maybe that green. And then start at is the question if you, you could choose to say start at the Maybe this was one, two, three. I could say at four, and I say okay. Now I have those numbers as four, five, and six. So you have something like that. Those are breaks and numbering. We could look at something else. Um, we could look at indents and line spacing. That is okay. You can use tabs and. Uh, could come here and maybe if the, if the information was not spaced enough uh, maybe like this one here we could come here and then select say 1.5 we have increased the spacing as you can see 2.5 the spacing has increased so you do that um, this is indentation increase the level of indent uh, like this we are pushing it further this side uh, the same price but usually you would do probably the first one and then increase its indent like that uh, getting it out of range a little bit that is why we have it like that so that is an intention otherwise it is a tab uh, so the perfect one would be here but that is still okay um, So we've looked at the intention uh, using the tabs and all other things. Uh, we've looked at the numbering, adding bullets and so on to our slides. We've looked at transitions. Um, now we can look at how to insert a picture, for example. It could be that I have the best way once again is to use uh, already customized the templates for you for example you can go to new slide and then say insert or rather picture with the caption okay so this is where you expected to put your picture from otherwise you would go to insert and then pictures it could be pictures online uh, it could have been maybe a screenshot a photo album if you want to create one here they could be shapes that you are going to insert. They could be icons strictly from online. You need to have registered your, your version of Office. Uh, you could use Smart Earth. These are really available. The common one is Hierarchy. Or oh, Hierarchy Correlation Ship Chart. Uh, depending on the design you would want to choose, the most common ones are these ones here. You could pick this and then say, okay, it was taken to be a picture. Then you could uh, move it a little bit to make sure it fits. You can see it, you can pick it and it will fit. It fits in the area you would want, you have described for it. Um, so here is text you could edit your text from here there is one here you can see when i click here i show you which text is going to be added on and uh, 
you could add a shape add shape after add shape before uh, depending on where you are if this is where you are then you could also add shape after below above add an assistant you see so this is the assistant of this otherwise the row would be a straight line then on this we could just probably add shape um we could add our shape maybe after no, just below something like this you can see it now so they keep on shrinking this to accommodate the number of tests that you will have added in these are also other designs uh, orientations of how you want this one to look like you could change your color here uh, maybe to this Custom these are always customized for you so you type in anything you want these are so that is how you can add your clips smart art you could add a chart here we can come and uh, add in a new slide either blank for example if you want a bigger ch a bigger chart or a bigger smart art maybe this is what you are going to use that is the type you want you could add them like that and they also have the capability to open it together with excel and then you can edit this information or create new information okay this information can be created here you can expand it you you copy paste whatever information you have you I write here then let me see if we can pick some information that we can use we could uh, copy this uh, that cover there then we can just copy this come back to our powerpoint and then we want to replace it with this so we can enlarge if this is where we want it to stop no problem uh, but maybe we don't want to show these grades we can just delete um same applies to this and that is not probably what we are interested in we could cut it we could hide it uh, it can also work that is okay we can just delete them yeah, problems of uh, funny machines will always create uh, issues yeah, that is okay we could uh, edit your chart like that i just stopped it from starting because that is not why majorly we were here that is our data table uh, data labels and stuff like that so you have inserted if you can insert this then it means you can come here um, edit the data in excel it's okay you could uh, come here and uh, change your how your chart would look like these are other chart elements uh, table with the legends you can see what this means how the information would look like um, trying to open up it is okay we can uh, copy, uh, copy this once again So that is the chart, the same applies to a pie chart in case you were to insert a chart if they were pictures maybe you would have downloaded them. You can download some pictures here. Um, you get some free pictures here. Uh, I mean this is connecting to it directly. It is a 
copy we can have by the pictures there are those that are, that are already available here they are not looking very nice some of them depending on their size so we could save this image maybe in a when you say pictures folder so you look for relevant images because after all you are going to add them and they needed to be relevant not any picture can go anywhere so when i come here maybe in this text even you could say insert picture then maybe you want to, use to insert this picture and then you say insert because you had customized this to be to be the one carrying the picture side that is why you have it here okay because under and um sorry and uh, under new slide that is what you picked hmm? this is what you pick if it is this and you are to look for pictures maybe you have this um so these are the pictures that you are having So you could look for a clear way to that is why you need proper resolution pictures um the, um, this is windows 7 if we had proper windows like windows um, windows 10 we would have their, we would use their own pictures that have enough resolution so you can see that you could insert your images make them internal such that they are residing on your computer and you have no issues otherwise others could have uh, moved away from the link in case we had to use links to access those photos um, that is inserting pictures formatting is the same so there would be a lot to cover. Maybe I could show you one main one for animating text. Animating text. Um, because that we hadn't looked at it. We are going to look at the number of ways of how you can animate text in PowerPoint. We can uh, come back here. We have like things the little things in life and maybe this is the text we want this one here we could come to animations and then we have different types here of animations we have ex we have entrance we have emphasis we have exit and motion paths so those are four types when we come back to powerpoint you will see them segregated entrance emphasis exit um, and motion path so we could say that maybe this will turn like that and the duration of delay you can see it uh, moving around duration is this delay we might want it or not we could use loops for example um, or oh, we could simply pick those that you would see properly something like bounce so we are using two seconds but if we made it around four seconds okay then we can come and play the transition we would see how that is going to look like we can now look at this we can look at that and see whether we can affect how this text we could say it will fly it um, these are just transitions being monitored uh, we could say maybe fill color so Old flash we can 
can even come back to our information here, pick this text and then we say maybe this one should uh, zoom for example as it comes in and about if we say play um, it's okay that is uh, our old machine okay. it is taking a very small time 50 seconds we could use it here we take it to 4 that, is that, that way we could be able to to see it Start on click, we can save with the previous. This one here, let us add on add animations. We have this, we can say shape. We have this one here. We could say spin. So we come back here, we can then play and see. <coughs> so, there is our text coming up. Remember back then we had set the timer, but now the timer isn't set in this. But you could add in many other slides um, for us to be able to see. So. This is, we can look at how our text was playing about. And remember, it deals with text. This is pulse, for example, color pulse. Uh, we could look at how that one is going to be. On click, we can just say with previous. Uh, the duration could be two seconds. The duration with this could also be 2 seconds, 2 seconds. So when we go back to preview, or just play, since we are saying play with the previous, so you can see our information. Do not set a timer, so you have to click. You set this animation to come with the previous one. That is why it is not seeing it here but when i click uh, because it was on we are saying say come with the next one that is why now both of them can can be able to come so those, those are the main things that you as a student would focus on this is not a, this being a practical makes you want to make sure you run you've seen charts how to add and modify charts smart graphics you can maybe look at videos it depends on whether you have the videos um, in most cases the videos you would have you would want them to be to be MP4 format. Uh, it is easier to to use that. We can come here. Let's first create one, maybe at the blank page. You can come to insert, and then we say video or audio. You can sit here. If it was a screen recording, you can insert there video may be on my PC I uh, download this video there is no item why because usually MKV is not recognized very well you would need AVI, QuickTime, MPEG 
WV, so now I don't have any videos here, so I can't pick any video for now. Uh, the same price audio MP3 would be the best way. So make sure you try that out and uh, you can look at something else later. Thank you.